Hi, welcome back friend. Here in this practical exercise, we're going to write a program in Java to demonstrate the if else later. If else later allows us to write a different kind of set of conditions and based on those certain conditions, we can execute different sections of code. With if else, we can define only one condition and that if that condition goes wrong, the else block would be executed. But there are different scenarios where we need different conditions uh, there could be more than two conditions, four conditions, eight conditions, and we can write different if blocks or rather else if block to define those conditions. And when all the conditions goes wrong, we have the else block. So here we start writing our program. We need to first write a public class main method. I'll provide the name of the class, provide the main method for it. Uh, public static void main string ARGS and then we need to write everything within this uh, main block we can define a variable so here we have a variable called number and assign it a value zero it is uh, of the type integer then we have the first condition or the if block within the if condition we can define the first condition so let us define the first condition as uh, when the value of number is greater than zero, uh, a set of condition uh, argument or pro keywords would be executed. So here we want to display a message on the screen. Uh, so we can write system out print ln. The number is positive because the value is greater than zero. Then we may have a second condition uh, which is written as else if then we can have a value so here the condition is when the value of number is, is smaller than zero we would be interested in displaying a message a number is negative similarly we could write more conditions if we need uh, right away by using else if statement we need to write else if more and more time so here we have only two conditions and the third condition is when the first two conditions get false then we have the else block, our system out print ln. It will be displayed as a number is zero. When the value is greater than zero, it will be displayed as positive. When it is smaller than zero, negative, and otherwise zero. We have an error here, the syntax error. We need to write the name, proper name of the variable. So you can fix it or rectify your error uh, by seeing the compiler output. So here the message is displaying as a number is zero. It is uh, the correct output because the value is zero here. Similarly, we have we could have more conditions uh, in case we want to write percentage, 10%, 20% or more. We can set change set of variables and write else if statement multiple times based on different conditions. We could have a four condition, eight condition, 100 conditions thousand conditions and more that way it is called a ladder we could climb up the ladder any time we want any number of time we could use uh, the if else conditional statement either in the nesting form or more now we are going to learn in the mo more in the coming exercises